Welcome back, everybody. Beastman Monster Mayhem. Oh, yes, indeed. Before you start those matches, make sure you go to Millager. Collect that quest so you get the moon gold dust. This event runs from the 18th of July until the 24th of July, 2023. Number one, let's go check out the Beast Moon Crafting Station. See what they got. All right, this is clearly an elemental Beast Moon Monster Mayhem. We have fire, storm, and ice items. What I'm most interested in are those treasure cards. But first off, let's check out the reagents. Fire Minotaur, Gold Idol, Ice Colossus, Gold Idol, and Storm Wolf, Gold Idol. You use these to permanently unlock this form on that particular wizard, so you can use it any time. Of course, if you don't have any of these forms unlocked permanently, then you always have some available for you to use during these Beast Moon events. So it's not like you won't be able to have any forms to test out. All right, what do we got? Inferno Salamander. You know what? I am so, so close to leveling this up. I'm actually not going. Ooh, look, they're ready to go. I'm not going to craft it this time. But I normally would get this to craft it to get five spellaments for Inferno Salamander. That's other than gardening and potentially from Beast Moon matches, that's the only way you're going to get it. However, crafting it is the only way you're guaranteed to only get Inferno Salamander. Because if you're using any sort of elemental seeds, you can get any of these spells. Frost Feather, Glacial Golem, Iron Curse, Naphtha Scarab, Storm Ring. Oh, well, the pages go and go. All right, we got a team going on. Ooh, it's Celestia. Okay, got my 10 special event points there. All right, this is Monster Mayhem, which is us versus the creatures oh yeah so we have storm and balance storm and balance and ice and balance yay i still think i'll just go with storm because i love to boost i love to boost my teammates i really really do and of course keep an eye on that time up at the top and because one of the outside battles has already been finished ooh, two of them says the time clam cometh which means two extra minutes typically on your chat here it will tell you in blue or green about it all right so we're the last battle to go all right somebody got it now we're gonna take this teleporter go to the hub and we're gonna collect our wisps and our health and run out either do an outside battle to support the spiral battle or fight in the spiral battle doesn't matter which one of these teleporters you take you can go right over to the right and go up to the spiral to the boss Crab and a lice. Ew. All right, let's see if boosting the fairy up can get us what we need. Oh, come on. Now you're just wasting time, you rat. Because whatever time we have left over carries over to the next round. All right, we got four blades on this fairy. This is nuts. One, two, three, four. Woo. That would be two, four, six, twenty-five. <laughs> Almost, almost. Ha ha ha, they're stunned. Oh, it's beautiful. Just gorgeous. I love those. Alrighty, now we defeated the boss. So we got 12 minutes. All right, so what do we get from the boss? We got Fire Rune, Beast Moon Seed, Hunter's Moonstone, Beast Moon Seed, Storm Wing Spellament. And if you look at the clock, you can see we haven't even touched the 12 minutes that we had going into this round. We're still working on our leftover from last round. It's glorious. So happy they decided to do that. Okay, go into the teleporter. Go get your health. Go get your wisps. Maybe get a wisp. No, everyone else came at the same time and there's no wisps in here for me. Around the corner maybe and find one. Oh boy, swift wisp. Oh, there we go. Go, 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 go. Alrighty, it's an Inferno Salamander. We beat that boss. Woohoo! Okay, maybe I can grab me a. Okay, I got the wisp. So, I get hurt more from ice. Mm. You know what? I say let's go for these rotten, rotten fires. So, 25 minutes is a pretty darn good for this boss. That's crazy. This crew is out of control fast. Yes. But I only got Elemental Moonstone, Mentor Idol, Elemental Thread, Elemental Thread, and Inferno Salamander, and some Lunari. <laughs> oh no, boss, why would you do that? <gasps> Not complaining. Ooh, bad for you. Oof. Three hundred and twenty-five. Ooh, I think you're in big trouble. 
<laughs> uh, I'm not complaining, but this boss is making a lot of really bad decisions. A lot. And I get a boost because I'm Storm. GG! Oh, Inferno Salamander again. Uh, and an Elemental Golem. And then we got Ice Rune, Fire Rune, Enhanced Fire Rune, Balance Moonstone, Ice Moonstone, Colossus Idol, Harmonious Thread, Elemental Golem, Inferno Salamander, and a bunch of Lunare. Yes. And when you're done, you just exit. And now, let's turn in this quest to Meliager. Well done, Hunter. Darn right. There's one Moon Gold well Dust. Done, Two Moon Gold Dust. Three Moon Gold Dust. What do you need Moon Gold Dust for? Well, you need them for crafting the gold idols to permanently unlock that form on your wizard. They cost 10 each. If you get six from defeating all three bosses and turning in the quest to Meliager, and then you got that four Moon Gold Dust right here, that's 10. So you can craft a gold one every single time. And thank you to Suri and Noah and Mason and Emmeline. Fantastic run. I don't think I've ever beat a boss with that much time left over. And even mom's here. How you doing there, mom? Everybody's here. That's because everyone loves Beast Moon. And don't forget that the event that just ended, you have until Friday to redeem anything that you earned. And all the points that you get on these weekly events goes towards your current scroll of fortune. How do you get points? Winning a combat is unlimited amount. You can get two points each. Defeating a beast is one point per rank. On the higher waves, you get more points for those critters. Leveling up any beast form, you can get credit for five per day, 10 points each. Because I have so many upgraded already, it just gave me those points. And harvesting a plant, we haven't even done that yet. And we already have 88 points. So let's check out these rewards as always. Two Beast Moon Seeds, two Eldritch Thread, and almost enough for the Hasty Harvest Treasure Card at 100 points. Then you get some Beast Moon Needles for stitching that awesome gear. What is a pet? Ice Block Colossus, and it gives the Spellman Upgraded version of Colossus. I do believe these are at least tier two. That's what I've seen in the past, so that's pretty good. You get damage, and then it uses up to three shields and gives, I believe, up to three 60% traps. And possible talents are Kelvin's Omen, Ice Hunter, find those rare ice treasure cards, and Ice Shot. And then more Beast Moon Needles, some awesome Lunari, those Moon Gold Dusts that I told you about, and finally, Elemental Spellaments. That's for 500 points. Speaking of codes, there's a brand new pack. So first off, let's redeem the free one. That would be the Burrower's Rebellion pack. Do you know what? Let's actually check this out in the crown shop first. All right, inspect. Okay, so it's definitely showing the spellaments for this. So I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be dropping any sort of spells, just the spellaments to get this. Hopefully it's a lot, cause if it's dropping like one, yeah, no, I'm not gonna get it. But anyhow, you get the spellaments for all of those brand new spells and brewer's hood, robe, boots. This thing is so cool. What? Did I show you holding it? It's beautiful. It's amazing. I love this. This one happens to have legend golem and super, 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 super shadow plume. Very interesting. Oh, look at that. It tells you what it means. What? Oh my gosh. Look at that. I never noticed that there was an actual like description. That is so cool. Uh oh, armor. Oh, this is a pirate weapon. Cause it's armor. I'm into that, I like it. Okay, so the hood has got some, other than its absolute cuteness. Uh, move over, Nana, new mouse in town. We got some damage, we got some resist, we got some good stuff. Now it's only showing for the balance school. Sadly, these like their school only gear. I'm not a big fan of those cause I never, ever, ever, ever get any for my school, ever. And then for the robe, which is also very, very cool. We have a lot of health. We got power pip chance, crit block, damage, pierce. Look at that shad pip rating. Whoa! And we also have the pin sockets. Yay, nice stuff. And the boots, also very cute. I don't know why, but I kind of wish there was like little tufts of fur sticking out of them. I know, I'm a weirdo. And that one is also damage, resist, pierce, health, etc., etc. all the good stuff. But I really love this. This is so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful, and Rimey Bully? That's an interesting name. Uh, it says Frost Beetle, it doesn't show like what kind, of course. Wow, look at that, they give you all the explanations on these too. Any adjustments? No. And the little polies. So cute. Um, Sadly, I much prefer, I'm sorry, I prefer my Coley Poly from Pyro 101. It's just, it's just superior, I'm sorry. That little err uh, face, I love it, love it. These are just, too cute, actually. You know how much I love cute stuff? 
This is too cute. Just saying, just saying. Anyhow, that's the pack. Alrighty, let's go. Don't give me stuff I don't want. Okay, so we got three Divins Resurgence. Okay, so we got three whole spell elements. And then a lot of reagents. And I got... <gasps> I shall die of a heart attack. Ice boots. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you. I never ever get anything from mine. Ah, sad thing is, I'm probably going to buy another one. But not on this wizard. Ooh, and I bet this is going to be in the August loyalty store. You would hope I'm going to pick my level 85 life wizard to purchase one pack. One only. I'm a cheapo. All right, so you got six Hero of Chrysalis Spellaments. We got a Bastion <laughs> theme, fantastic, and some good stuff, and ew. And we got, oh, look at that. I do believe my Death Wizard can use that. <gasps> nice, nice, Brewer's Necromancy Amulet. Ooh, we can right-click on it, cool, cool. So Dream Golem, Stormblade, okay. Death and Storm, what is that, Dorm? Anyhow, got some Crit Block. Lovely. Got some health, got some resist, and got two sockets, but they're locket. Mm. So that's kind of cool. Who is this? This is myth. Okay, so I got balance spellaments and I got myth spellaments. All right, all right, one more, one more. That's it. No more. Ooh, we got storm ones. 30, 30, 30. No, I got five. <laughs> and the rest is a socket wrench and a tree and some snacks and a regular locust swarm. Burr lectern. Okay, definitely done with these yeah that's enough that's enough thank you very much i wonder however i'm sure there's not going to be any way for you to farm these hmm i wonder i know that we do have some boss rematches potentially coming in the future i'm talking about you celestia hmm maybe more i wonder if perhaps they might have one for chrysalis sometime it's not like we don't farm more Ganth all the time anyway. Well, I hope that you had a little better luck than I did with those brand new Burrower Rebellion pack. And don't forget the code K-I-I-I-I-I-Y-A-A-A-A. -A -A -A. You can also just go to wizard101.com and it'll show you. So good luck on redeeming those. Woohoo! You have until the 31st of July to redeem those codes. So quite a long time to be able to test it out. Woohoo! Yes, yes, those of you who have multiple accounts, take advantage. Thanks so much, everyone, for checking out this look at the Beast Moon and the brand new pack. And we will see you in the next one. Don't forget to redeem that code. Bye.